Hello, everyone, and welcome to Cotex live event today. I'm here with the president and CEO, Julian Traeger, to discuss last week's news. After uh, Julian updates us on this news and why it's significant to the Cotex story, I do encourage you to ask questions via the chat in the bottom right hand side of the corner uh, so we can have an engaging conversation. Just as a reminder, this will be recorded and will be available at six.com in the coming days. So with that being said, Julian, I'll hand the, the reins over to you. Thank you so much, Carl, and thank uh, you all who have uh, tuned in to this broadcast. Uh, we want to have a special event around this, uh, which is effectively the formation of the joint venture uh, with Makango to develop our, our proprietary technology, green technology, to recycle uh, magnets uh, using uh, rare earths uh, in the US because it's, it's very significant for Kotec. As those who have followed Kotec will know, we've made great progress thus far. We have four technologies, um, and those technologies alone, uh, plus our investment in uh, Magine, uh, are worth more than the current market cap of the uh, business. But the great value that's going to be created for our shareholders is in a series of joint ventures, uh, which uh, acqu acquire or invest in uh, assets, which will be the fundamentals of a new uh, minerals uh, production business uh, fit for the 21st century, which is super green um, and has uh, much lower cost than traditional ways of doing things. So we're in the process of, of reinventing the mineral extraction company uh, in a responsible way for the 21st century. And in that respect, um, the uh, formation of this joint venture is the first tangible sign of the way in which we plan to do this. This business we expect uh, will have um, revenues uh, within 24 months. Um, it lays out a path to revenue production for uh, Kotec, uh, which is important uh, to our investors. And on top of all of that, it's a super interesting uh, technology. I, I myself was in Birmingham a couple of uh, weeks ago. I saw the uh, demo plant in action. It's, uh, it's very impressive, you know, that we have a way of um, extracting uh, the magnets from uh, hard disk drives um, and other uh, sort of uh, retail machinery quite efficiently, quite quickly. Uh, and then it goes into this uh, effectively, um, you know, very large washing machine. Uh, that tosses it around in a centrifuge and then extracts the uh, the rare earth in a dust form. Um, but it's a very green process. And then it can be refined again and then made into new magnets. And it's a way in which the uh, West, and in particular the U.S., can use its existing uh, inbuilt uh, resource of, of, of magnets which have been built up over the decades and which are significant to bypass any restrictions which the Chinese might apply on the rare earth front, not only in terms of rare earth mining, but more importantly in terms of rare earth processing, because the uh, rare earths which we extract have already been processed, and so we get around the requirement to process these materials, which can be very, very difficult and often involve radioactivity. We don't have any of those problems. Um, and so this is a business which uh, is very important strategically um, to the West um, and to the US. Um, we've seen the US starting to really accelerate their focus on on mining earths, on building magnets, but we think we're a real leader in the area of recycling um, rare earths and magnets. And um, so with this formation of, of, of the joint venture, 
we're now in a position uh, to engage more fully with the U.S. government and with uh, U.S. Mag the magnet industry, who've already shown enormous initial interest in what we're doing. Um, these joint ventures, you know, will have a value already have a value, in, in our view, which dwarfs the current market cap um, of Cotec. Um, and these are the areas where we will make potentially, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars for our shareholders. Um, we have, um, you know, one already with uh, Macango. Uh, we are uh, working out the joint venture at the moment with binding solutions on our Lactionine site. Um, and we plan to roll out a number of joint ventures further in the iron ore space and in the copper space. And, and so this is the future for Kotec. The technology we'll be making uh, interesting investments in at low valuations. There'll be lots of profits from those. But these joint ventures will be the bread and butter, the building blocks of the future value of Kotec. And it's in this respect, Carl, that we wanted to draw a shareholder's attention to this because it is very exciting. It's the first one. Um, we can then cookie cutter them uh, going forward. Um, sometimes they'll be 50-50. Sometimes we may have a larger shareholding. But this is the beginning of the operating business, uh, which um, uh, Kotec will be able to consolidate and turn from being a initial technology investor into a business which um, is, is effectively a, an operating entity where we have significant influence and control and where we are producing materials which are green and which the world needs for the uh, transition and which are which are super strategic so um, in sh short that's why we think this is significant um, and um, you know we uh, will be working very hard in the coming months now that we have the venture uh, to uh, get funding to uh, build out the business plan um, and um, given the amount of attention at the moment on the uh, rare earth space um, the, the, the potential for a squeeze on supply we think this should get a lot of attention from the investor community as well. Great. As a reminder for people that tuned in a little later, feel free to submit questions in the bottom right hand side of the screen. But I, I did have a few questions for you there, Julian. Um, one, a little bit further clarification on this technology. So you're using magnets to extract rare earth metals, but how do you how do you how does the magnets not pick up every single metal? How do you isolate the rare earth? Well, we don't we don't use magnets. What we do is we we uh, extract magnets, so we effectively like cut off the mag the magnet piece of like a disk drive, oh. and then we those um, magnets into a centrifuge, which in, which involves hydrogen, so it's super green, and somehow uh, and I'm not the um, you know the uh, process engineer here. Um, the, uh, the hydrogen finds the rare earths um, in the magnets and extracts them from it in a powder form. Um, so it's, it's, it's somehow very targeted towards the rare earths. It sort of like burrows into the magnets, finds them and pulls them out uh, in, in, in a dust material. So we don't have other issues around uh, magnetic um, uh, what we do is obviously we take the powder and make new magnets from them. Um, so our business is both a rare earth extraction business and then a magnet uh, manufacturing business. And that's why we plan in the U.S. to have a business which is, um, you know, uh, sp spokes, lots of spokes where we are getting the magnets and extracting the rare earths. Um, and then the hub, which will be the magnet manufacturing business. And is this the first of its kind, or is there competitors in this market? Maybe just educate us on this overall recycling of rare earth market. Well, I mean, there are obviously people trying to do it. We think we have a major advantage. Our technology has already had $100 million spent on it. 
in terms of R&D. It's been developed, I think, over decades. Um, and what's interesting about our technology is there's already a demo plant in the UK, which you c is, is working, so we know it works. Uh, but we are building much larger um, pilot plants in Germany and then in the UK. Um, we'll actually, as uh, Kotec, uh, we'll likely have some revenues even from the European operations um, of, the, of the business, uh, hopefully late uh, in 2024. Um, and so it's a business which is at a very advanced stage. It's not theoretical, it's already been proven, um, and it's really a matter of how we scale it out now in, in North America. Now, could you shed some light on this demo plant a little more? You said you visited it. Uh, is there, and not to add on to that question, is there any complications with scale when they build this out? No, I, I don't believe so. Um, you know, they've already built a bigger plant than they, they, they started with when they were initially testing it in the laboratory. Um, they do need um, particular um, equipment uh, that uh, needs to be manufactured for that. So, the, so there's more an issue of, of, of when the uh, plants will be available. Um, but um, it's not a process which, as, as I understand it, which where scale is going to make an enormous difference. And, uh, you know, what's interesting about this technology and about the other technologies that Kotec has already invested in is that they tend to be modular. So, you know, you don't have to build a plant 10x the size of the one which we already have. Um, it can be, you know, five plants of a similar size. Okay, understood. That makes sense. Now, for the funding of this, I was reading the press release. Uh, maybe you could elaborate further on this because I, I pulled a quote here. Uh, Kotec will also be responsible fu for funding all the development costs of the U.S. project with the total expected funding of 30 to 50 million pounds during the first three years post-completion of the feasibility study. Could you elaborate further on your funding plans and strategy? Yeah, I mean, we are responsible and we're going to be assisting the joint venture in raising the funding. Um, and we've agreed um, with uh, Makanga that we will, um, you know, be responsible for funding all the business. And then they, um, to the extent we put up equity, uh, they will uh, pay us back in due course. But I also think there are many, many external sources of funding available. The most obvious being the U.S. government, the Department of Defense, Department of Energy, the, you know, the Inflation Reduction Act. Um, and, of course, there are people already in the magnet business in the U.S. who are very interested in obtaining a new supply of um, super green magnets, um, which are recycled. So... We will explore all the funding obligations. I don't think um, our expectation is that Kotec itself is going to fund 30 to $50 million of, of, of equity. I think uh, the amount of equity will be much lower and some equity will come from third parties. But obviously, Kotec is ready and prepared to put up um, a lot of the initial seed equity that's going to be required to prepare the business for external funding. Yeah, and I assume the feasibility study would shed a lot of light on the economics of this. Uh, what would you deem a successful feasibility study? Well, I think a successful feasibility study um, will uh, demonstrate that we have the appropriate feed, because I think the feed and the feedstock uh, securing that is, is a major issue. And then, um, you know, we believe that the economics here are compelling because we're not mining rare earths. Uh, so the cost of extraction of the rare earths is, is much lower. Uh, but a feasibility study which, uh, you know, reinforces that uh, assumption, which demonstrates it more fully, um, I think would be extremely helpful. Definitely. We have a question in the audience here from Barry. 
Has Kotec done any investor road shows as the only trading, as they are only trading at pre- one sec, let me try and phrase this question. But in general, have you done any road shows? How are you getting the story out there to investors? Well, well, obviously, events like this are part of that. Um, and we are engaging with other um, PR uh, uh, supporters uh, who are um, communicating the story. Um, and we are gearing up for uh, you know a major... A roadshow to tell the story as well. So we're we're getting a lot of interest now from brokers, um, particularly as our share price has gone up a bit recently, and we're seeing much more liquidity in the stock. Um, I think people recognise what we've achieved, that we are on a path, um, that we have um, matured, we're, we're going somewhere, uh, and that's getting more interest. And uh, with Beaver Creek and the Gold Forum in Denver just passing, do you see any conferences that would suit Kotex vision that might be worth attending? Well, we are going to be, I mean, even today, um, you know, Brian Yonker, our um, CFO, is in New York um, having a meeting on strategic minerals um, or, uh, and a conference. Um, we um, are going to be at the um, Future Minerals uh, conference in um, London uh, later in this year. Um, you know, I'm going to uh, Riyadh uh, for the FII conference uh, next month. Um, we are uh, trying to raise our profile um, around these green uh, commodities. Um, I think within the um, rare earth recycling uh, and recycling business i think we are quite well known um you know as i mentioned i visited the uh demo plant in birmingham but that was around um a global conference on on uh, on magnets uh, and rare earths um so i think people uh know more about us but i think as we have more to talk about we'll raise our profile further um, and, you know, we could attend PDAC, for instance, next year. Definitely. Uh, Gary posed an excellent question in the chat here. Minkango updated to say their UK plant would be commissioned in Q4 2023 within the coming months. If this deadline is met, how critical is this to the rollout of US operations and what value do, do you believe this will add to the group uh, slash the joint venture? Well, I think having an operating uh, plant in the UK, which people who are interested in supporting us in the US can visit and see with their own eyes, see it working and operating, is a very valuable thing. Uh, you know, it's a significant uh, uh, catalyst on the way uh, for most companies. So it's definitely uh, adding to the value and credibility of the of the U.S. operation, um, as I mentioned, uh, by the, by the middle of next year, um, you know, Macango will have not only an operation in the U.K. but also one in uh, Germany, um, and so I think that all adds a lot to the story. Excellent, excellent. Um, I don't have any more questions for you there julian and i don't see any in the chat so I'll, I'll pass it off to you for any closing remarks about this news and what people can look forward to for the rest of the year but i think we got it pretty much covered thank you very much carl well yeah i, I mean i think we think this is significant to small beginning but it is the beginning of the value that we're going to be creating from our joint ventures and this particular one which is the first which is likely to generate revenues for us um, within, you know, roughly two years, I think is in a very exciting area. Um, and uh, we hope that uh, it garners a lot of attention um, and uh, is, a, is a great blueprint for the way in which we plan to scale a significant uh, responsible commodity extraction business uh, suitable for um, the 21st century. So watch the space and we'll make further announcements um, down the line.
Thank you so much. And for the people that tuned in late, just a reminder, this is being recorded and we'll probably have my team air this uh, today. So you can look out for that in the short time here. But Julian, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you all for your time too. Thanks, Kyle. Bye-bye.